everyone in this video i will be unboxing this ginormously ginormous two rock bands and yes this is a really really big unboxing i was contemplating if i wanted to do a video on this and that's because this unboxing is going to take some time and um there is just so many compartments to this unboxing a lot of accessories to dress them up there's just so many parts and let me tell you i had the opportunity to unbox this one with my granddaughter on christmas and it was stressful it was frustrating and and that's probably because you know she is a four-year-old and she was so anxious to get her hands on the dolls and play with it but i wanted to make sure that she, all her dolls had all the accessories and uh, no ex you know and that she had all the fashions out of the compartments but um yeah it was it was a lot of work you know so don't expect to give this to your four-year-old or even from four, ages four to maybe i don't know nine or ten years old don't expect to just give them the box and have them unbox them themselves. I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna work. They're gonna need your help, they're gonna need your supervision, and that's because there's just so much stuff here. So these are four dolls. These are the big sisters, and there's the little sisters, and this, of course, is the limited edition, and this is part of the remix dolls. Um, Let's see. All right, so I think that is it. This is a pretty heavy box. I don't know how much it weighs. And I'm pretty sure there are others out there who did an unboxing already and will tell you how much it weighs. I don't have the chance to give you that information. Stick around till the end of my video and I'm gonna give you my personal review and opinion on this rock bands all right so without further ado let me start unboxing all right so just so things to note is this set requires 12 lr44 batteries which is included so if you need to get them replaced they are the lr44 batteries all right so i had to protect my table so I put a cloth here because there's gonna be, I don't wanna scratch up my table. So I'm gonna, go, let's go ahead and start. Oh, looks like this fell out. All right, so here is the instructions. First and foremost, this is what we need to get started. So here are the names of the dolls that are in here. So we have here Ferocious, Bad Girl, Fame Queen, Metallic Chick, and the opening act are the Little Sisters, and that's Fierce, Batty, Goo Goo Queen, Met Metal Babe. So these dolls are inspired by an artist, and I think this one everyone is saying is Gaga. And this one I think is, um, geez, what is her name? I can't remember her name. It'll come to me later. And on the back side is all the compartments that need to be opened up. And then here is the guide on the bottom. So make sure you follow this and get all the pieces out of there, out of this box. Okay. And let's see what this is. And these are the tots features and they all spit and it comes with they all come with a stand and preparing the band okay we don't have to worry about this right now but hold on to this and keep this for this unboxing I've decided I'm going to need an adult beverage and that's because the stress factor for this unboxing it's a lot of work all right, so let's get started. So one, remove the dial. I hope I don't break the nail. Oop, jeez. 
All right, so I'm gonna decide how am I gonna do this. I'm gonna put all of their accessories in one pile. So I think the easiest way to do this is put their accessories somewhere close by. So I'm gonna put their shoes right there. That's for the little, for the little ones. And then two is the mid volume. It's shoes. There you go. And number three is the dial. I'm sorry, three is not the dial. It's the speaker. A guitar. Four. Another guitar. Five. Symbols and a keyboard. And I think I got that all. All right, moving on to what number are we on? Seven. It's another dial way up here. And here's another shoe for the little sister. You like my glittery outfit? I wore this particularly for this unboxing because it's a rock band, so you gotta, you know, be into the groove of things and dress for the occasion. And here's another, you don't need that, okay? So here is a shoe, a boots. It has some glitter on it. Fancy. And nine in my box is bus. Let me just take this out. So we got nine here. It's this cool shades. Lightning bolt. Another one. Oh, these are not the little ones. These are the for the big sisters. So this is bad girls. It has bad girl right on it. And another sunglasses, shades. Not sure who this belongs to. 11. Looks like a comb with a crown. Is that all of it? Yep, that's it. So now moving on to 13. All right, 13 is, ooh, all right. Put that in here. 13 is up here on the top. And this opens up. Okay, oh boy, oh boy. 13, 13. That's empty. I guess 13 is this. Nope, it's 26. Okay, these must be the dolls. Right. Nope, this is 42, 39. Where the heck is 13 and 14? 13 and 14. 13 and 14 is up here somewhere. I have no clue. What? Where is 13 and 14, folks? Where is 13 and 14? Okay, well, I don't know where 13 and 14 is at, so we're gonna skip that. Okay, 13, find number 13 on top of the package, which I did, it's up here. Oh boy, here we go. Frustration is starting to settle in. Calm down, calm down. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna get through this. Find number 13 on top of the package and pull to open outer package, done. Swing open outer package side to reveal next layer of surprises. Remove box number 34. Here's box 34. Out of the box. And save for later. Okay, so we'll move that over there and save that for later. 
15. Find number 15 on top of package and pull to open outer package. Where the heck is 15? You see what I mean? Give this to your child and let's see them open this on their own. If I'm having such a hard time, pretty sure they're going to have the same problem, but who knows? I could be wrong. You know, kids are smart these days. All right, so 15 is to remove this just like this. I think I need a bigger set, a uh, bigger table here. All right, so 15 is... Find number five on top of the package and pull to open outer package. Swing, open outer package side to reveal next layer of surprises. Remove box number 51. Right, so this will be box 51 right here. And set to the side. These will be set to the side for now. Swing, open outer package. Okay, I said that already. Pull open number 17. All right, what am I opening here? Oh, 17, here we go, okay. Okay, so my box is all bust up. I'm not even gonna save this box. So here's 17. Seventeen is a pretty cool guitar. There is an on and off switch here. Slide that over. Cool. Okay, so that is the first instrument. And then 18. It's a drum set. Make your own beats. Okay. This here. Is the piece to where she can attach this and hold it. Not sure how to attach this, but we'll figure that out somehow. So placing all the instruments in different areas here so I don't get frustrated and try to find where everything is at. 18 now for 19. All right, let's just slide it. It's a headband. And that headband is for Metal Chick. And this is the hat for Fame Queen, Gaga hat. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Place that with the rest of the accessories. Next is 20. Bear with me here. There's a total of 67 compartments. Uh, ooh, okay, 19, fold down platform. platform okay so this piece comes out so this can come down it uh, looks like this is their stage what did i say was that okay 20 is there anything else in here already 20 remove protective piece spin dial above compartment to reveal doll so this will be the little sisters let's just spin that and the first little sister doll is Fierce. Oh, so look, these are the drumsticks for Bad Girl. Fell out somewhere. I'll just put this here on the side. And 
here is Google Queen. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Is it Google? Yep, it is Google. She has these net stockings. And I love these glitters on her. Can you see all that glitter? Yep. And let's go. It's Batty. She does. She looks like a bad girl indeed. She already has her earrings on. And she has these um, striped stockings that are torn. It's painted on her. And the last little sister is Metal, Metal Babe. I love the pink and black. She also has fishnet stockings that are torn. And it's supposed to be like that. It's funny because my granddaughter, she's like, oh no, there's something wrong with her stockings. It's defective. I mean, she used such a big word. And I said, no, honey, that's not defective. That's just the style of her stockings. And I tell you, these kids, they learn a lot from us. They're sponges and they, you know, they're very absorbent. They just absorb and sponge up everything that we say. All right, so that was 20. 21, 22, 23. All right, 21, 22, 23. 24 is pull out the drawer sideways. Oh, pull out the drawer. Pull out the drawer sideways. What freaking drawer are you talking about? Was there a drawer here? What drawer? Am I missing something here? Where's 24? Drawer. God. Pull out the drawer. What drawer, folks? I feel like there is something in here. No? Okay. This is 51, right? Don't need that one. There's apparently a drawer somewhere. Okay, this is 26. Nope, this is not it either. Am I missing something here? Okay, 23. Alright, 24 is down on the bottom of where's that drawer piece? What? 20, 20, 22, 23. Oh, what are we talking about? Oh, there's something here on the bottom. Ow! Okay, I just busted my box. What drawer, folks? Okay. Don't know what drawer we're talking about. Open a long line. Tear open a long line. What line are they referring to? Tear open the line. What? What? What line? Jesus Christ. Ugh. What line? Okay, anyway, I'm going to skip that because I can't find it. Maybe if they're referring to this, right? It's got to be this one. Spin dial above compartment to reveal doll. I did all that. Tear open line. So 26. God, this is so difficult. So 26. Tear open the line. Okay, so 20. There is a compartment here somewhere. It's saying on the bottom. But I think I did 
get those in me. It's weird. I'm, I feel like I'm missing something, but I'll figure it out when I dress up the doll if it's missing any accessories. So here is the first outfit. I'm sorry, but I sound like I'm frustrated right now because I am. I need a drink. Alright, 27. It's another outfit. Oh no, this one's broken. Look. This came off. Ugh. Great. So much for that. Number 28. It's another outfit. Hopefully it's not bust. And this was upside down. I don't know why it came upside down. Come on, folks. Let's get this right. And... This is, what is her name? This is Bad Girl's Skirt. Okay, who owns this one? Okay, this one belongs to Fame Queen. Let's just take a closer look. My apologies. It's got glitter and mesh. Textile here with the glitter, glitter, glitter. I'm too close. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And I like how it's open in the front and it's got this glitter band. So this belongs to Fame Queen and this belongs to Metal Chick. Thank God I know how to sew because then I can fix this piece here. Disappointed, disappointed. But now I have to work my magic to fix that. Oh, and I did forget to show you that these are cassette tapes where their outfits are in. Working on number 29 unboxing. Ferocious's jacket. Oops. They all come with hangers, by the way. And this is cool. Let's take a closer look at this. It has this really cool stud uh, gold uh, shoulders adorned with this zipper going down. And it's this really electric, cool electric blue color with a Velcro closure. And number 30. Metal chick skirt, Velcro, and it's a cool pink, hot pink with ruffles. See that? Let's just put these, separate these. And number 31. And again, folks, there is a total of 67 compartments. And this one belongs to the Fame Queen. This is her jacket. And let's take a closer look at her jacket. It's very shiny and lots of glitter, glitter, glitter. She has this zipper collar. Is there anything wrong with it? And she has a buckle here and her collar stays upward because she's cool. She's a cool chick. And in the back is this metallic, um, like a broken glass kind of design. So let's separate that for the theme queen. And number 32. This looks like the belt 
for ferocious. Velcro closure. In number 33. Oops. These belong to Bad Girl. These are her leg warmers. And I know you can also use these for her sleeves as warmers as well. So it's versatile. And it's furry and soft and here it says warning warning extra caution and then she said it also says toxic and this is her plastic jacket okay there's something that needs to be attached here because there's velcro so we gotta look for that piece so this is a bright green like a lime green color and it has these gold um, studs and also it is adorned with the gold studs on the collar and some gold lining so this goes to bad girl all right so that was what number 33 34 is now go back to box number 34 and open and i think we're done with this box so i'm going to move these box 34 metal chick and bad girl start with 35 in here is metal chick check her out I don't like her she's got this black lipstick pink and black hair she's halfway dressed and she has on these um, spider web she has these web stockings on can you see that So 37 and these are the boots for metal chick there are two different colors you've got the hot pink and black and the black is the right and the hot pink is the left 38 is bad girl Check her out. She has this one piece um, cat suit and they are fishnet stockings and she has on these gloves because she's a bad girl. So I'm going to um, keep these, keep them in their uh, plastic until the end, but I'm going to just remove them all. I think it's easier that way. Let's just unbox everything first and then I'll take them out. So I can take a closer look at the dog. Number 38. And you know what? That is a good sign because we are halfway through unboxing. And there are several parts to her bad girl's um, shoes. These are her lime green with black shoes. And there's these pieces here that you just slide on like that slippery little suckers fell off my hands there we go and 39 would be back here and this flap i think this one comes out check out the graffiti and once again mc swag was here this little girl she loves doing this graffiti i noticed that let's get loud baddie was here lightning bolt so i'm pretty sure this slides on out yes it does and here is baddie's outfit and it has bat on there. 
is bad and it has studs with green on the side and it's black. And this one belongs to this instrument. Belongs to Metal Chick. Which way does it go? This way? Yep. Or is it this way? Oh, I don't know. And turn it on. Just slide on it. Slide it over. It's different tunes. All right. Turn it off. Slide that over. Put all the instruments here. Set this up later. So this is number 41. It's a hairbrush. 42 will be on the other side. Let you just slide on out. Oh, you know what? See, actually, you can open these, but that's okay. I won't open them. I'll just slide them out. Yeah, so there's uh, preparations here that you can uh, take them out, but in this case, I've already started doing this. So this is number 42 through 50. Thank goodness, we're a quarter done here. And these are their sippy cups. There's one sippy cup. That's for the little ones. And here is an accessories. Who does this go to? I do not know who this goes to. So places to the side. That looks like it's for what um, the waist. Oh, who has this? I don't see it on the picture. And this one here is, I think this goes on the neck. It's another stud. And another hairbrush, it's pink. This looks like someone's necklace. Not sure who this goes to. So we'll put all the necklaces and accessories on one pile and we'll figure that out later. And looks like this belongs to Metal Chick and that's because of the color. It has like a magenta pink, a hot pink. So put that to the side. And this one looks like it's a waist, um, a waist belt. And I think this one belongs to um, Metal Chick. And a sippy cup. A necklace. Okay, this one belongs to the little ones, maybe, not sure. And number 50, accessory. And this is Metal Babe's excess, um, not accessory, but her wardrobe. It has baby on there. It's a skirt and a top. Working on 51. Pull this out of the way. Thank God we're almost there. How many do you, did I? How many compartments did I say there were? Sixty-seven. Yay! Almost done. All right. So fifty-two. This is ferocious. Wow. Pretty ferocious with her animal print attire, one-sided. Fifty-four. Wait, what number is this? Did I skip? No. Fifty-four contains her shoes, and it is an animal print, which is a royal blue, electric blue with black prints. And check that out. She's got some studs. And also is her piece to her legs. Kind of like a leg warmer. And it's pleather feeling and it laces up. So 
Lizzo, number 54. Oh, look, here's a piece to her stand. Fell out. Just put that there. Next is Fame Queen. Oh, it's stuck to my hand. Ooh, what is this piece? She's got this long piece here. Should I pull it? Ooh, I just pulled it out. Oh, okay, I pulled out her hair. Oh, it was bothering me. Okay, so this is Fame Queen. Check her out. We'll take a closer look later. Put her to the side. 55. 55. This looks like Fame Queen's boots. Very cool. It's like this purplish, uh, a deep purple eggplant color with silver and spikes. And check out this metallic plastic outfit. Something similar she wore. When I say she, meaning Gaga. So that is 55 and 54. So moving on to 56. 56. Just open it here and slide it out. You can cut out the preparations here, but I'm not going to do that. It's the attire for Google Queen. It's glittery. And that's it. It's glittery. And an instrument for the Fame Queen. Which way does it go? This way? All right, let's hear her instrument. Switch that on. Okay. Now let me tell you when I was unboxing this uh, instrument, my granddaughter went crazy. That was all she was interested in. I mean, she didn't care about anything else after she saw the instruments and that they make sounds. She went hysterical. I really wish I could have um, videotaped that uh, unboxing, but like I said, it was just too much. So this here is another piece to the Fame Queen's attire. I think that belongs to the Fame Queen. Um, yeah. Yeah, looks like it. So on to 59 is on the other side. And this is Fierce's outfit. Just like her big sister, it is an animal print. And I need to take a sip of my beverage. Oops. And this is Fierce's sippy cup. Okay, what are these? I have no idea. Let's take a look at the pick and see who these belong to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who these belong to. Put it to the side. And that's what I'm talking about. There are, ooh, there's an earring that fell out of this. Here's an earring. Hmm. Am I missing another earring? Oh. Only one earring. Oh, it fell out somewhere. Okay, I just got one earring. One earring with that was in the red brush. So that one belonged to Sears. Does she only have one earring? Oh, looks like maybe. 
hopefully that is the case that she only has one earring otherwise i'll be missing an earring oh god there's so many other pieces that fell out oh here we go i found them i found them okay and that's what i'm talking about you know that you have to help the little ones unbox these because there's so oops, there's so many different pieces lots and lots of accessories all right so here are the earrings i don't know who those belong to and then here are i think this is an earring also and i think this one belongs to um ferocious so i'll put this with her pile since i know that belongs to her pretty sure of it and I think those earrings belong to Metal Babe or Metal Chick. Okay. So I'm just rushing through these tissue papers, not realizing there's these little parts, little accessories. And this here belongs to Ferocious. Let's put that with her pile. Other one. Very, very tiny, tiny, tiny. It's a little spike. I'm not sure who this, oh, I just lost it. I just lost it, folks. It just rolled out of my hands. Rolled out of my hands and onto the floor. Not sure who this belongs to. It'll be nice if it has um, information on the instructions on who each accessory it belongs to. And this has you see how they attach that to the brush? How clever, so it doesn't get lost. Oh no, no, I can't even get it out of here. So there's another brush. And this. Who do you think these belong to? Uh, metal? Metal chick, maybe? I think so. Let's put all her accessories together. sunglasses for one of the little ones yeah see it doesn't tell you who these accessories belong to so where are we at number 67 or 66 it'll be great if they show like okay where it says 66 which one which dolly belongs to they could have put like you know the name of who that accessory belongs to that's just my take on this Part of my review which i will be adding to the end of my video oh and here's a pop sippy cup one of them one of the little girls like to drink soda pop okay so that is 67 and i think we've completed yes thank goodness so now that I've completely unboxed all the compartments, I'm going to go ahead and take out the dolls out of their plastic casings. Now that I have the dolls out of the case, let's just take a look at them much closely. So this is Ferocious. Oh, what's with this hair? going to cut this piece out don't need this extra piece of hair so she has this gold hand like a robot hand and fishnet stockings adorned with these gold eyeshadow and check out her outfit She's got gold nail polish. And next is the Fame Queen. And just like Ferocious, she has this robot arm. A lightning bolt right here. And let's check out her stockings. It is a one piece stockings. 
lace looking. And she's got two-tone color hair. And it's crimped. She has this crimped hair. Next is Bad Girl. She's really loud. She's got this fluorescent yellow color hair. And I love her one-piece catsuit. Fishnets. And she's got this bad girl ring and the gloves. And she has on this black glossy lipstick. This is Metal Chick. I love her colors. And she has these cat looking I makeup on braided ponytails and these two side long bangs and on her outfit she has a super sonics with an X and her stockings she, or socks is a webbed like a spider web design on it And let's check out the little sisters. Let's start with Metal Babe. I think I've already went through these girls, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So I don't have to go through them. So let me get the dolls dressed up. The dolls are fully dressed. And let's start with Ferocious. And also, I just want to point out that their stand only comes with three pieces. And this is just a little bit different from the regular um, OMG dolls. These have like studs around them. And for the remix, for this particular uh, rock band, it only comes with three pieces. It does not have the part where they can sit. So putting on their outfits was a bit challenging. And uh, this is Ferocious. Let's just take a closer look at her. So this is her boot covers and it's pleather and she has on her boots she's pretty uh, fancy here she is adorned with these chains and I figure out where these pieces goes and it belongs to ferocious this is her arm warmers okay and she gets this guitar This is her little sister, and this one is Fierce. She's cute. She has on a leopard, is that a leopard outfit? Some kind of animal print. She got her bracelet right there. And matches her sister's um, attire, which is the animal print. I guess these girls here, Ferocious and Fierce, both love animal prints. And next is Bad Girl. Take a look at her much more closely. So she is the drummer and I love the color of her. She's amazing. And these leg warmers can also be used on her arm as a sleeve warmer. And so the piece, this is how you attach her drum set. And I was trying to figure out what this piece was right here. This, uh, it belongs, it is used for her drumsticks. For the life of me, I was trying to figure out where, did, where does this piece go? I put it in her arm, it was falling out. Then I finally figured it out. I said, oh, okay, it must be on, goes to her legs. So it's like, or her thighs. I think with um, the instructions be more, you know, have more clarity on what where the accessories goes and who it goes with because I have the problem with that. All right, so this is Bad Girl.
This is her little sister, Batty, and she plays the cymbals. Check out her swirly hairdo. Next up is the Fame Queen, and she has the electric guitar. And I think I've already turned these on, but if you want to hear it again, let's just turn it back up. So the Fame Queen was the hardest one to get dressed, okay? Let's look at her just a little bit more closely. Okay, so I figured out that you need to keep this, um, if you want her to wear the hat, right? Put on the crown so that way her hat stays on. Otherwise, it will fall. If you don't have this crown on, her hat will fall. And some of the feet pieces and some of the pieces that I found challenging to put on was this jacket. And this piece right here. It was really, really hard to snap. And the I'm not going to take this off because I might have a hard time. So her skirt was a little bit too tight. I couldn't get the Velcro to go around it. So I stretched it, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then finally was be able to get just maybe like two millimeters onto it. So that way it closes, that the Velcro reaches to the other Velcro. And um, that was a bit challenging, but this uh, metal piece right here, or the metal plastic looking piece, that was hard to put on her. It just kept popping off and that's because of her outfit. But other than that, she has a cool style and I like it. And again, it is advised to remove the hands so that you can get it into the sleeve. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it in there. And now for her little sis, she has on this glittery outfit and glittery shoes just to match, to match her sister, the Fame Queen. And next and final, doll is metal chick and she is another doll that i had oh see it fell out already is this piece right here this piece is very challenging to put on and i don't think it will stay on so it looks like and from what i understand is that so this piece right here is very challenging and I think it goes downward this way, right? I can never get it in there. And it looks like it's in there, but it pops out again. Maybe I'm not putting it on right, I don't know. So let me tell you, this one was the most hardest, well, second hardest because she was hard to put on. This piece right here, this plastic piece just keeps popping out so it doesn't stay on her and I love her jacket but my piece is busted look at that stitching came out really disappointed but other than that um, she is cute I love her colors and she's oh, look at that look at her feet <laughs> maybe I just didn't put it on right there you go But other than that, she's cool. These pieces come off, came off. There's like a lot on my table. So she plays the guitar. I'm not gonna put her, oh, it came off again. I think I'm probably just gonna take this thing off of her just so I don't lose it. Cause if I'm gonna put her on this thing, ooh, what am I? And the final last little sister is Metal Babe. And she has this heart guitar. 
And let's just take this off so you can see her attire and she has baby on there. And there she is with her boots in. They all, all the little sisters match their big sisters. And that is it. Whoops, look at the fame queen. There you go. So just a really quick personal review, pros and cons. So the pros, I love their attire. It's great, all the details that it comes with. It has a lot of accessories. Um, and just the, the look of these dolls are amazing. Those are the pros, but the cons, and I think the cons will outweigh the pros, okay? So first and foremost, the unboxing. I mean, there's a total of 67 unboxing. I think they can eliminate that to just a little bit more less if they have the girls have some of their attires on like maybe their earrings it was just a lot to unbox um, particularly if you have you know little girls or boys that want to play with it right away and just make sure that you take time set aside to and you have to have patience when you're unboxing in this uh the two band also another thing is the instruction, that's great. I'm glad that you have these illustrations and where to find each one in the box, but I found some parts being difficult, like 15 and 16. I couldn't find where that piece is at, but I think I figured it out. There was really nothing in it. It's more opening the box. So that would be 15 and 16. And then also, I think they can improve on the content or the instruction of this piece here. And that's because like the numbers, the corresponding numbers, I don't know where those accessories go to, who it belongs to. I had to figure it out myself, particularly like, let's say this drumstick, this piece here, um, I still don't know if it belongs around her, her thighs or her legs, but I put it there because that's the only logical place that I think it would be, um, where it would go, I should say. And let's see what else. There's just a few more like her crown I wasn't sure if she was supposed to wear it underneath there, but I figured it out. Like if you don't have the crown on, her hat will fall off. These are the details that are necessary to help improve the unboxing experience, which will makes it more fun, you know, instead of trying to figure out where these pieces go to. Um, another one was this piece right here, the arm pieces. I had no idea where that goes to. So by putting it here, who it belongs to that would help out significantly and also another con is it, it was just time consuming it took me I don't know how long three hours to put this together it, it was just too much to put together I think just eliminate a lot of the accessories by putting it on the dolls like you did with the light features the light dolls they had on their outfits the only thing you have to put on them is their jackets and these plastic pieces that goes around their waist i think rather than making it plastic you can make it cloth and just like fame queens that piece ridiculously hard to put on it just kept popping out so i think if you can make it metallic a cloth metallic that would be great but uh, those are just the cons. It's, um, it's, it's a good set. As a collector, I would, definitely, I would definitely collect these dolls. But as a play set for a child between the ages of four and eight, I wouldn't give this to them. And that's because there's just way too many pieces. This is what, uh, it went on sale for Christmas, 99, but normally it's what, 129, 149, something like that. There's just too many pieces, they'll lose it and it's not worth the money to spend it on that. So I wouldn't recommend this particular dolls for anyone younger than, I don't know, nine, 10 years old. Anyone younger under that, I would say it's a big no, no. No, don't give it to them. But as a collector, definitely a thumbs up on that. All right, so if you, like my video and you found my video helpful and informational please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye